Hi folks, in this video we're going to be looking at how to effectively answer the different parts of Outcome 2 in your National 5 Fit NAB. Outcome 2.1 is asking you about strengths and areas for development and that will be in relation to your performance in badminton. When you're commenting on your strength, I would start off by saying what particular skill is it that you are strong at performing? So in this example we're naming the overhead clear. Say what your evidence is and how you know this is your strength. So for example, your initial observation schedule showed you had a 75% success rate when performing this shot. And in your next paragraph, I would then go on to comment, and this is the most important part of your answer, comment on how this strength had a positive impact on your performance. So for example, the overhead clear allowed you to control rallies and that you could can do this by making few errors by forcing your opponent to the back of the court, creating space at the front of the court, allowing you to be in control of the rallies and win several points during the game when you use this shot. When you're commenting on your development areas, you should repeat these steps by naming the development area itself, talking about how your evidence, what your evidence is, how you know this is a development area and what impact this development area had in your performance. It might be that you were inconsistent and you made many errors performing this shot. Your two development areas can either be two particular skills that you didn't perform that well or alternatively you could comment on one skill for development area one and also an emotional factor for development area two. In outcome 2.2, you are being asked what factor it is you would like to develop from your performance. So this will be, you'll be picking one of your development areas and I would recommend you choose the physical factor which identified as a development area from the previous outcome. So in this example, we're speaking about how we're going to be developing our physical skill as the factor and that that skill that we're going to develop is the smash you're now asked to come up with two targets. I would recommend that you would say in one target that you would develop, you would want to develop the correct technique for performing the smash when undertaking it during a game in badminton. Your second target will be in relation to improving the same skill, but you may want to comment on a different feature of this factor. For example, you may comment on that you want to improve your accuracy of the smash and you want to change and improve it from 25% success rate to 60% success rate. And this is introducing that measurable aspect when you're setting yourself a target. Looking on the right hand side of the screen at outcome 2.3, this is then asking you what two different methods could you use to improve your performance and achieve your target. So to improve the smash. For approach one, you may want to consider speaking about repetition drills and you would be asked then to describe how you used a repetition drill in order to improve your performance of that shot. So mentioning in your answer that you would repeat the shot several times in an attempt to develop consistency performing the correct technique and describe in detail the actual drill that you've performed in the practical setting in order to answer this question. You should then repeat this process for approach two, selecting a different approach or a different development approach. The example I've given here is condition games. And again, you should give a detailed description of a condition game that you used to help you develop your smash. One that we've used in class might be that in a game, rather than just winning one point if you win a successful rally, you get two points if the winning shot during the rally is a smash. And the reason why we did this was to encourage you to use the smash in the game and to try to improve your performance of this shot in a competitive context. 